Operation Interdependence is a local nonprofit dedicated to supporting our troops. The packages they send to military members serving overseas show our gratitude for their efforts. This time around, our Mark Bott found some units are more in need than usual. We need citizens to help. Karen Carley has been a part of Operation Interdependence for more than a decade, and in those years, she sent out thousands of care packages. The care packages are simple, but they mean a lot. We hear back occasionally from some of the commanders. Uh, and once in a while, we receive a, a gift from them, like a, a flag that has flown over their unit, this kind of thing. The holiday season is often one of the busiest for OI. It's not unusual for commanding officers to even call requesting packages for troops. So I had a commander get in touch with me a couple of days ago that said that they would like to have some little extra things at Christmas time. Holiday packages can really brighten the day of those serving. I asked my own brother about his experience in Afghanistan. It was always nice because it just bring you home a little bit and remind you, hey, uh, there's still stuff going on that's that's fun. It's not all horrible. OI told us that they work hard to fill those troop requests, but they depend entirely on help from the community. We rely on everything being donated to us. Even if you don't have any donations for the packages, they also always need personalized notes, which they try to put one of in each package. So we have to have notes from citizens that write us just even a little thank you, thinking of you type thing. Write them a little note when you add things to the care package. If you can, donate anything as simple as candy or even stress balls, maybe even just those few words to tell the troops that you appreciate them. You can find Operation Interdependence on Facebook or look for more information on helping out on westernslopenow.com. First on the Western Slope, Mark Bott, KREX 5 News. And Kara, Karen told us she just received another request this morning, so donations are needed and appreciated. And thanks to Mark Bott for the story, and of course, thank to Mark's brother Brian for his service.